Even if it is more he wants to vie again, even if it's Kibaki, let them contest. It's his comments yesterday that perhaps for a moment may have worried many Kenyans yearning for a new constitution. But Lands Minister James Orengo would not let the comment slip. Michuki's comments may have been informed by the fact that there is no clause on the executive chapter in the revised draft that bars a former president from contesting the seat. However, the chapter on transition and consequential clauses in the revised draft constitution expressly bars anyone who has served for more than one term from seeking the country's top job. Meanwhile, Energy Minister Kiraitu Murungi is dismissing calls for the removal of the Cardiff Court in the revised draft constitution, saying it has never been a problem since independence, an opinion shared by civil society groups. We cannot wish away Muslims, we cannot wish away Christians, we are Kenyans. And we think that we don't see the, the arm that there is going to be. Hakuna mkristu ambaye ameteswa ama meulizo, meulizo maswali na Kadhi's courts. Ni nini tena tunabishana na ndugu wetu na dada wetu wa Islam. The lobby group also wants the committee of experts to look afresh into the reduction of the Senate's power by the Parliamentary Select Committee on Constitution. The PSC has done the same by creating a Senate without legislative power. A Senate that cannot provide a check against both the executive and the National Assembly. A Senate that does not have a say in impeachment of the President. On this one though, Energy Minister Kiraitu Murungi does not agree. They are very popular. Everybody is happy with them. So I don't see whose mandate the committee will be acting on to change what was agreed on at Nevasha. Meanwhile, Gashoka MP Mutava Musimi has called for caution in the proposal to increase the number of constituencies from the current 222 to 349. The Committee of Experts has two weeks to make any changes on the revised draft constitution before it goes to Parliament. Hussein Mohammed, Sunday Live.